Hello, this is Hockey to Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-1254, also known as Paper People. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-1254. Object class, used to be neutralized, is now Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. A building SCP-1254 is held in is to be permanently closed to the public. Due to SCP-1254's close proximity to a busy shopping district, a false storefront owned and operated by a foundation front company has been constructed in order to allay any possible suspicion. SCP-1254 is to be treated as an active archaeological site with strict environmental controls and safeguards to prevent any possible damage. Personnel within SCP-1254 must exercise caution at all times, and refrain from causing any unnecessary disturbances to 1254. Crossed out is no further containment measures are necessary. Personnel exiting SCP-1254 are to be fully decontaminated before being allowed to leave the building. Cameras are to be installed in order to observe SCP-1254-1 behavior and the progress of SCP-1254-2's construction. Armed guards are to be kept on standby in the event SCP-1254-2 activates. Description SCP-1254 is the entire stock of books in a redacted bookstore located in redacted California. While SCP-1254 appears to be a set of standard books on the outside, closer examination and reveals the interior of the books have been cored out to construct several miniature or civilizations. The inhabitants, dubbed SCP-1254-1, you mean paper people, were miniature humanoids that were nearly identical to normal humans in every respect except for their size. Oh. Never mind. Their average height was approximately 5 millimeters. They small. That's adorable. Archaeological analysis of the few remaining intact samples of SCP-1254 suggests that SCP-1254-1 possesses the ability or technology to convert earth paper into any conceivable material. These intact samples contain some own structures that bore many similarities to ancient Greek and Roman architecture. Study of these damaged samples of SCP-1254 shows the remains of more advanced materials such as concrete, steel, steel, I mean, carbon fiber, trace amounts of uranium, as well as several as of yet unidentified materials. There's even evidence of the existence of organic foodstuffs. In addition, the number of distinct civilizations within SCP-1254 corresponded to a number of different to the number of different genre sections the bookstore contained. The knowledge base each SCP-1254-1 civilization possessed also corresponds to the types of books they inhabited. For example, the science fiction section showed a more rapid pace of technological development, while the fantasy section largely remained in the medieval era. The civilization in the nonfiction section was one of the most was one that most closely correlated to the current time period. There is definite proof that these civilizations were aware of and interacted with each other, with border books exhibiting a blend of various architectural styles that neighboring samples of SCP-1254 lacked. However, 99% of SCP-1254 was destroyed or irreparably damaged 
due to a fire that took place before its discovery. Forensic analysis suggests that the fire started in the young adult section of the bookstore. Trace radiation readings as well as the remains of various types of weaponry suggest the fire was started as a result of a miniature thermonuclear war between one or more of the SCP-1254 civilizations, which proceeded to wipe out the entire SCP-1254-1 civilization. Tragic. SCP-1254 was first discovered after the previously mentioned fire. The local fire department responding to the call suspected arson and started their own forensic investigation, discovering the remains of SCP-1254. The Foundation was alerted and took control of the site, enraging amnestics to the entire forensic team. The bookstore had already been closed indefinitely for several months due to financial trouble, though none of the books were planned to be moved due to the possibility of a buyout. As a result, SCP-1254's existence went unnoticed until the fire. Addendum Living specimens of SCP-1254-1 were discovered on a redacted date during a routine archaeological survey. Researcher Wilkes caught sight of a small group of SCP-1254-1 survivors and managed to record the entire event with his head-mounted camera. Seven individuals wearing full nuclear-slash-biological-slash-chemical gear were witnessed moving through a destroyed a copy of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, possibly scavenging for supplies. The small SCP-1254-1 group then saw researcher or Wilkes and fled deeper into the book, breaking visual contact. Container measures and object classification revised in light of confirmed existence of SCP of living SCP-1254-1 specimens. And then number two. Maintenance crew responding to a malfunction in the building's air conditioning systems found a miniature aircraft of unknown manufacturer attempting to break through one of the filters. The aircraft was captured and taken to the nearest Foundation lab for research. Attempts to contact the crew were met with limited success, as the only response received were a several broadcasted radio transmissions that were a mix of screaming and exclamations of broken Latin phrases. Two hours after the aircraft goes silent, permission is granted to forcibly remove the crew for study. Closer examination of cross-sections of the aircraft showed the crew having committed a mass self-termination. Whoa. That kind of came out of nowhere. Addendum 3. Security cameras observed suspicious movement in one of the storage rooms. Remote viewing by drones and cameras show groups of SCP-1254-1 gathering as much intact paper as possible and depositing it in the, in the storage room. Further surveillance shows SCP-1254-1 attempting to construct a full-size humanoid with the paper are being collected. Based on visual analysis, completion of SCP-1254-2 is at roughly 25%. Containment procedures updated in response. Wow, this was quite a roller coaster. So basically, these are people who live in the, in books, who create their own little societies, and evolved it up to the technological level of the books that they were created in. So when, and they were like in a high fantasy book that was based in kind of medieval old Europe-ish, which is where a lot of high fantasy tends to be. The books would say in the medieval era, and they were or in the nonfiction or more urban in, in books that are more in our time period, their, their books will say more in the time period, and when they were in science fiction books, they had technology that, as far as we 
it, it, you know, is still in the realm of science fiction. Anyway, that was SCP-1254. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I really thought this was interesting. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!